YouTube, what's the deal? Cash Mono is back with some more fire content. Make sure y'all continue to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to drop them comments down below. Early this morning on this beautiful Wednesday. Uh, finally got some days off, so I'm about to get down and dirty, as y'all can tell. You feel me? I got my uh, my enclosure building clothes on. You know what I'm saying? You see the paint? So yeah, uh, you see what's in the background, and I got tons and tons of driftwood. So the reason I'm making this video is to show you guys how I'm gonna be renovating this enclosure. But I'm gonna show you guys how I clean up the wood, how I'm gonna sanitize it down. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. So all I did was boil some scalding hot water, scrubbed all the pieces down, I didn't use any soap or any bleach, and I let them dry outside for a day or two. So that's a quick update on the process. I got the logs locked in. As you can see, I sit on these. They ain't going nowhere. Same thing on this side. All locked in from the back. Just use two inch nails, drill them in from the back and from the sides. So you can see here, this is the Timberline brand, top soil, through and through, no fertilizer, no additives, no chemicals, no manure, strictly top soil. Each bag contains 40 pounds of top soil and there's about 12 bags, so that's a total of 480 pounds of top soil, including another 40 or 50 pounds of eco earth that was already in the enclosure before I added the top soil. So as you can see, I'm just mixing everything together. Topsoil, the eco earth, and the cypress mulch. I was using a shovel to mix everything up, but it was a lot easier just mixing it by hand. So I decided to get down and dirty and do it the right way. As far as my mister, I'ma drop a link in the comments for you guys, but this is a mini rainforest spray system. Mister, uh, it came with about 18 feet of holes. I was able to make that work. That was more than enough for the eight foot enclosure. And it also came with six nozzles with uh, their 360 degrees rotating nozzles. Um, I thought I was gonna have to use all six, but in reality, all I had to do was use three, which worked out pretty perfect for me. Here's the external pump. There's the inlet line connected to the filter. Of course, that's inside of the bucket. So all I did was mount the pump to the side of the enclosure. There's the discharge line at the top. I really like this pump because it's heavy duty and it's self priming. And you can also run this pump dry if you were to ever run out of water. So definitely a good thing in my opinion. I figured I'd throw this clip in there as well. You gotta have a heavy duty power supply 
when you have multiple plugs when it comes to your enclosure. You gotta have it or you'll be tripping breakers all night long. So here's the Mr. Timer right here. It has tons and tons of different modes. I'm still playing with it. And this is just a basic timer. The lights come on and the lights go off. I don't have to turn on any plugs or do anything. Everything is automated. Perfect. Last but not least, the Argus Monitor is a terrestrial species, but when given the opportunity to climb, they will utilize it and take full advantage of it. That's all Charmander does all throughout the day is climb, climb up and down these branches, not to mention it's a really, really good tool for exercise, building muscle and enrichment. I'm not going to do too much more talking. I'm going to let you guys finish out this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace.